about 12 that, you know, people come to my surgery asking me how they can, how they can get a house on, on the beach or how they can go live there. It is a lovely place to live. And that's testament to the fact that the Housing Association, you know, remortgaged all the properties as the report set out and set about upgrading those homes, bathrooms, kitchens, windows, you know, the environment of the estate. It is a lovely place to live, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, at the public meeting, which I'll go on to in a minute, I, I did say I empathise with, with the residents who felt that they were letting go. So not a lot of the residents who were at the meeting have been there for over 40 years, 45 years from George since the estate was built. They've gone through a time when the estate was like Beirut, when the estate was, you know, uh, absolutely like the Wild West, and nobody wanted to live there. People were clamoring to get out of it. So, and they've seen that estate, you know, go from strength to strength. So I understood the feelings of people who felt they didn't want to let go and felt that the LHT, Liverpool Housing Trust, was letting go to an organisation to Liverpool, as though it was going to Liverpool. But, you know, as it's been set out, the LHT is part of the umbrella group that, that BBCHA were under with Symphony. There's about six housing associations under the Symphony umbrella, of which LHT was one. So this transfer of engagements of BBCHA is literally to another member within the, the, in the group, to the LHT. But just to set a bit of context and background to the, um, the concerns that have been raised since the last cabinet meeting, on the 2nd of June, I was asked to go to a meeting on the estate with some of the community leaders, George Thomas, who runs the Beachwood Trust, Linda Finn, who is the chair of the Community Association, uh, there's another board councillor present, Councillor Patrick was present at that meeting, uh, and there were a couple of other people from the community, and um, they, they raised real concerns with me about the public buildings, about the trust buildings, about the units, it wasn't about the housing stock that they were particularly concerned. They were saying they'd have no guarantees about or they hadn't been, they didn't feel they'd been engaged or consulted with. So I took their concerns on board, and what they were concerned about was that they currently enjoy pet call rents for their, for their buildings, and uh, they felt that a new organisation coming into them could actually come in and start saying, well, we're going to start charging you commercial rents. Um, so I took their concerns away. I went and had a meeting with the lead officer of the BBCHA, Fiona Wilkie. As a result of that meeting, and within 24 hours, they had a written confirmation of all of the community leaders on the estate had written confirmation that all of those public buildings would be transferred on their current leases on a call rent for the duration of their leases. Um, and that was that was two days before the cabinet meeting. So we came to the cabinet on the 4th of June, chair, as you know, and we had the petition presented uh, 15 minutes before the uh, cabinet went. However, we, um, we took the decision then to defer that and obviously to give proper due regard to that uh, petition. And that was um, duly done on the 18th of June. George chaired a meeting uh, of the lead petitioners, um, board members, the board member, Paul Doughty, the Dean Ward Councillor, Brian Kennedy was there, our, our own officers, our own housing officers, Liam Platt and Lisa Newman were there, and the officers of uh, LHT and officers of BBCHA. So the lead petitioners had, had, you know, had the opportunity to ask the officers of the council, the officers of the association more particularly, any outstanding concerns that they had and they were addressed. That was followed up that evening at 6 o'clock by a public meeting, and you'll see in Appendix 2 of your report on page 21 that uh, the, the questions that were asked at that public meeting. There were 16 people attending the meeting, nine tenants of BBCHA, six owner occupiers, and one tenant of another registered social landlord. There's a range of questions there which were all addressed. Um, the meeting ended very adequately there. Um, it, it, it ended with uh, people, you know, not indicating that they were in any way, um, hadn't had their concerns addressed, that they were still disgruntled, that they still wanted further consultation. It was, uh, it was conducted and shared by an independent member of the um, church association on the estate, and uh, it was a very applicable meeting. So that meeting ended with everybody feeling as though the concerns had been addressed. I understand.
and there is one petitioner who is not going to be happy whatever happens, Chair. But what, what I want to say is this, look, this is a, the BBCHA in 2005 set about upgrading United States. They're at the end of their loan commitments. They can't go any further with, with borrowings in terms of they need to be part of a bigger organisation to carry on to make this state sustainable into the future. Um, I think there was clear recognition at that public meeting that that's what needed to happen and that people were satisfied that it was in the best interests of the tenants and residents of the state that, uh, that I mean, let's, we're not making the decision to transfer, we're making the decision to vote as a shareholder at the meeting. Um, but I think it's been, it's been a case that's been well developed over the past 18 months to two years. And uh, I, I'm absolutely satisfied as a board councillor that everybody has had their say and had their concerns addressed and that this is the best thing for the future of those days. So I hope that's helpful, Chair. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Anne. That's, uh, that's very uh, helpful um, uh, background. Um, and I think, um, as you say, Anne, I think we're absolutely right to defer the uh, decision at the last meeting because we literally were, as you say, given the petition. Um, 15 minutes before the cabinet, so clearly, you know, we needed to um, study what they, uh, what the residents were saying. I think that's happened. There's been um, meetings since then uh, to, to address the issues, and, and I, I think I'm, I'm satisfied taking all the George that, that all those concerns have been addressed, and, and you know, we've got we've got to be um, mindful of what would be for the long-term benefit of, of all those tenants going forward and I'm, I'm certainly convinced that this is the, uh, the right move really. So I think um, all those comments having been made, um, we're, we're being asked to agree the recommendations um, in paragraph 14. So we agree to support the transfer of engagements of BBCHA to uh, local housing trust, authorise local council officers to vote on the proposal, associated matters proposed and referred to in this report, the forthcoming BBCHA special general meeting, and this, and finally, this um, recommendation has to be um, uh, uh, referred to council on the 6th of July for council to ratify this recommendation. So, can I ask cabinet members if we can agree to those recommendations? Agreed. They agreed. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I've not been notified of any business. No. No? So um, that concludes cabinet. Uh, can I thank everybody for attendance? Thank you. Thank you.